Hello everybody! Welcome back to Games and Company. Uh, it's been a while. Um, been a lot of finals and tests and things such in school, so I haven't had the time to play games. And as for the incredible adventures of Van Helsing, or should I say, the boring kiting adventures of Van Helsing, I decided to end it because I did, made no progress and was only I was only kiting the whole time. So uh, then I remembered, hey, let's play Portal 2. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Mm, loading screen. Gotta love them. Well, there's hasn't been a lot of talk on her. Or comments or anything, so there's not much to say really. Uh, I, I I can't. I, I I feel like I'm talking to you, but then I don't get any response. But hey, that's just that's just life, isn't it? I guess so. But yeah, um, probably remember last time we were dragged. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. What if I don't want her? Good. Okay. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. That was a lot up and down. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. But, mm, what was I talking about? Yeah, we were pulled back into the Aperture Science Lab um, by the... There is a framed painting on the wall. Party. Please go stand in front of it. Escort or something. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally yeah, invigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, uh, reflect okay. briefly on this classical music. Yeah. Good. Now please return to your bed. Oh, really? <sighs> Good morning. You have been in suspension for nine. Nine, 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 nine. Hello? Anyone in there? Subject should vacate the enrichment Hello? Immediately. Any test subject Are you going to open the door? At this time. At any time? To have exercise. Ah! Ah! Oh, God. You look te um, good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? How are you? Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it slow. Please prepare for emergency ah. evacuation. Stay mm. calm, stay, stay calm, prepare. Shock, it's all hey. the same, prepare. It's all fine, all right? Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of no, advice, I don't want to. I don't want to hang on to something. Look. Look at the imprint in the bed. You all right Gosh, down there? Right. Can you hear me? Hello? No, I can't hear you. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, <laughs> all right? Uh, although, if you do if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Yes. Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. Uh, but never mind. Say apple. Apple. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You're still holding on? The reserve power ran out. So, of course, the whole relaxation centre stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And, of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? 
Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? Right, it's close. 10,000? Am I going to make it through? Have I got enough space? Uh, just, just got to get through here. Okay, I just got to concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, see, no, I hit that one. I hit that one. You're a lousy driver, you know that? Okay, oh. listen, we should get our story straight, alright? If anyone asks, and no one's gonna ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, alright? Not dead. Okay, almost there. On the other Good. side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece right. of equipment in there that we're gonna need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready! Whee! And... Bonk. No. Good news! That is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on feet this below one. this. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. It's Almost there! Feet down. Remember, you're looking for down. a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Uh, Good luck. Hello, and again, welcome uh, to the no. Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical right. difficulties due to circumstances of potentially Radio. apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. Wow. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. Oh. No. Take this with me. It looks scientific, so it could be, could, could be smart. Cue and, and button-based testing no, remains no, an important this tool is, for science, this even is in a dire emergency. Testing chambers from the first game. If cube and button-based so, testing yeah. cause this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. Uh, sorry. My beard itches. Oh, his beards. It itches. Please okay. note the incandescent particle field across the engine. This aperture science material emancipation grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through. This is basically the first game all over again. Just dirtier and more broken and all these things. But since it's a sequel, I if you feel liquid running down your neck. Lot of Relax. More. Lie on your back and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. I, I said, uh, mm, yeah. I think there is a lot more content since this is equal, but this is obviously parts of the first game that are reused. This is the cube thing. This is the yeah, and um, yeah, well, this is a little bit different this time. Actually, control on or off. Uh, wrong. But hey, mistakes are expected to be made. Yeah, cube. Um, yeah, yeah. Smashing. Wait, can I like? Ah, uh, no. Not enough. Hey, it would be cool if I could crash, uh, smash the window. That'd be cool. Uh, this is mm. good because of the technical difficulties yeah. we are currently experiencing. Your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing. Please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. We Weird cut because Doc's going on a walkabout. And he didn't want to. So he, he wanted to come back inside. And the door was closed, so I need to open it. So, yay. But yeah, so far this is... 
not completely identical to the first game, but it's if the Earth is currently simple. governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to us. Hey, you made oh. it! Oh, fuck there should you! Should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. I can't see it though. Maybe it fell off. Do you want to go and have a quick look? Yeah, go over here and oh! boom. That was expected. Hello? Can you see the portal gun? Also, are you alive? If that's important, should have asked that first. I'm, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just going to wait for you up ahead. I'll wait. I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back. And assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. All right, brilliant. Go team. What? If you're not dead. Okay, so um, scientists made this. This is Glados. Then um, Glados does something. Um, she's like. Since Gladys is a female, she flipped out, she had PMS or something, and killed everyone. And then there's this guy worshipping the companion cube. And then... Oh, whoa! Didn't see this one. This is Gladys offering... I, this is me, I guess. Some cake, but no. And there's that guy worshipping the cube again. Which, yeah, I checked that radio and the companion cube uh, later... Um, off camera, some weird shit happened. You have to test for yourself. And here is sh me on the surface, and this guy with the portal gun. And Glados, something, don't know. This is just. That, okay, that's just creepy. It's a picture of me sleeping in a bed. I guess it's that guy worshipping the companion cube that's responsible for these things, but... Uh, for the drawings, I mean, not, not that everything's going to hell, but yeah. I'm not going to spoil what happens uh, when you use the radio and the companion cube in the same room, because... Um, that's that. That's for you. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robotics to share. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. That's a lot of stuff. Just. Slurp. It's a giant straw, this really. It's, it's odd. Oddly shaped. And since I think I make this episode a little bit longer since it's the first episode in the series. Oh, it's a bit longer. This next test is very dangerous to help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death. Smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. Oh, come on, I was enjoying that. Uh, oh well. Yeah, this is one of the first testing, cha te testing chambers from the first game. So, so is this. This is getting slightly annoying. Let me tell ya. Oop. Hmm. Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. <laughs> I do like no I can't. I need I need to go here. Way I went around. Can I go is there something hidden up here where I'm not supposed to go? 
probably is. Um, unreason and a cat jumping over the moon. Clearly this person doing this has uh, gone crazy. And the compa the cube is cat cube and oh, the person doing this is totally bonkers. It's insane. Lost it. Nothing more to talk about than that. So far, everything is almost. Some of the rooms are identical to the ones from the first game. One is slightly different. Okay. Uh -huh. Just walking around in the ruins. I guess. If the enrichment center is currently being bombarded Shut up. with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space. Please avoid unsheltered testing Shut. areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris ah. does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. <sighs> this is annoying. Um, okay, I'll do this. We. I guess everything else was not supposed to happen. Okay, so I'm gonna need a, a portal here because I need a cube. This one, this one's new. And when I do this. Now this happens, the cube falls down there. Do this. What more is needed? Okay, so uh portal there because there's gonna fall something down there, so I can open up here. And then I push this button, make it fall, and I push this button. Oh, oh there. Uh, almost crashed the glass. Didn't quite make it though, but hey. Well done. The enrichment center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All aperture science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic low power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. That's not much. That's about the same amount of power as potato battery. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. Oh, okay. So I need to go over there. Ay, 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 caramba. And then I need to... Like that, and jump. This is slightly annoying. A little bit backtracking, but hey. Like this. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this discovery amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you. That uh, was more. Water, okay. Still annoying. Uh, where do I want to go? I want to go. I'm not over there. I want to go over there, but to go over there, I need to go over there. So I need to do that. And just Geronimo, I guess. Yep. Cube achieved. Where did the cube go? The cube goes over there. So, up, cube over there. Now then, how do I get up there? I need to. Hmm. Oh. Dang it. Can I? Since I need to go over there, I can probably do this. And then... Go like this, I guess. Whee! Yep. Entirely possible. Can't smash the window, so I can go around. On this... Raise... Right... 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 No. Should probably stop speaking. I guess, yeah. Good work getting this far, future star. <laughs> that said, if you are simple-minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you. Please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. Oh, mm, this is starting to he, that, that voice is starting to annoy me. Give me the orb with the blue eye instead. He's more annoying than like to ensure that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols. All safety devices have been disabled. The enrichment center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. I prefer his voice 
compared to this one. God, oh, dang it! Hey, uh. oi, oi! I'm up here. There you are. Oh, brilliant! You did find a portal gun. Oh, the, do you know what? It just goes to show, people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they? At the end of the day, brave. Okay, listen. Let me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail or I would die. But we're out of options here. So get ready to catch me, all right? On the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. On three. Ready? One. Two. Should we catch him? Three! That's high. It's w it's too high, <laughs> really, that. All right, uh, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. I think Let's it's a Steve uh, achievement. go on one so. this time. Okay, ready? One. Catch me, catch me! Ow! Nope. I am not dead. I'm not dead! <laughs> Plug me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. Um... Go am on, I gonna sh jam me in over there? I'm gonna shove this up your butt, okay? This is not gonna... Um... Yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Yeah. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Could you just turn around for a second? Alright, you can turn around now. Bam! Secret panel. But I open while your back was turned. Pick me up. Well, let's get out of here. And off we go. Look at this! No rail to tell us where to go. Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. Just hold on though, where are we going? Seriously. Hang on, let me just get my bearings. Um Can I like just follow the rail actually? Eh. Eh. No, I can't throw him off the rail. Gah! Oh no. Yes, hello, no, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact, whatever you do. No, thanks, we're good. Appreciate it. Keep moving, keep moving. Hello. No. Hello. Hello. Yes, I'm here. I'm different. Yeah, I hear you. I will probably save you later if, you, if you're different. Maybe. We'll see. Loading scream and scream yes and transition to the next level and perfect place to end this episode once the loading screen is completed. Like right. Probably ought to bring you up to speed on something right now. In order to escape, we're gonna have to go through her chamber. And she will probably kill us if if she's um awake. If you wanna just call it quits, we could just sit here forever. That's an option. Option A, sit here, do nothing. Option B, go through there. And if she's alive, she'll almost certainly kill us. So, if you've got any reservations whatsoever about this plan, now would be a tremendous time to voice them. Right now. Would you let me finish In case my you sentence? thought to yourself, I've missed the window of time to voice my reservations. It's still open. Mm. There we go. Okay. I'll stand here where we stood on the... Episode 9 of my, the first Portal series, and we'll end the episode here. And like and favorite if you enjoyed it, and remember, and I hope you would take the time to share it with others so that we can get more views. I always appreciate more viewers. Yeah. And um, as always, see you next time. <laughs>